I don't come here as a religious leader, and I don't come here as a saint. I come here as a citizen who has had a life that at times has fallen short of the glory of God, who has had to seek God's forgiveness and had to seek re reconciliation. And I speak to you as a citizen. Not, not, while I'm in the pulpit for today, I'm not speaking as a religious leader. I'm speaking as a citizen. But it's important to remember that many of the most important people in developing the American Revolution were clergy. That, in fact, it was totally appropriate to think that our beliefs and our beliefs both related to each other. What we believed in religion and what we believed about the nature of our country were actually together, not apart.